the unit on my rifle is probably very familiar to you. If you've been around our YouTube channel, you know that we did a full in-depth video on the RH25 Thermal because it is such a powerhouse in the world of handheld, helmet mounted, forward clip on capable and dedicated weapon mount thermal. And it's one of the only units on the market that does it so well. However, we are adding another unit to our website, which I'm super excited to be here with Ethan to talk about. And Ethan, what is that unit? It's called the RL25. I know, super sneaky stuff here, guys. Super secret squirrel. We got the RH25, RL25. This one's tan, that one's black. This one's 640 core, that one's... 384. 384. Now, there are some differences between this unit, and I will admit that we are sort of new to running this unit, although Ethan has been hunting with this off and on for the last, what, couple weeks now at this point? No kill shots yet, but they're coming. But you feel like you have a pretty good handle at this point of what the differences are between these two units. Yeah, big thing is you can forward mount the RH-25. They don't recommend forward mounting the RL-25. I think for a couple reasons, the clarity isn't quite there to be able to zoom in on the screen. That's one. Two, uh, I think this is a 2X base magnification. That definitely will change things. It changes things. Um, yep. So you can see here, I have this unit dedicated to this rifle. I haven't taken it off yet and got it zeroed up. Now you can obviously still run this helmet mounted just like the RH-25. So in that regard, they're pretty much identical. At, at the end of the day... A little bit lower resolution. A little bit it. lower resolution. But the cool thing about that, what gets us so excited about the RL25, is because of that lower resolution, you are getting a unit that is still very potent, very capable at a lower price point. So when we're considering whether or not that makes sense, the RL25 or the RH25, largely what it's going to come down to, in my opinion, is do you need the 640 core for your personal needs? If the answer to that is, ah, maybe it'd be nice, but not really, well, then maybe the RL makes the most sense. If you have the budget for the 640 and the RH25, maybe that's the one that makes the most sense for you. But I do know that every time we talk about the RH25, there's a ton of people in the comment section that are saying, oh, well, for the amount of money that that thing is, good luck. Most of us can't afford that. And the reality is we often do show high-end thermals, but there are other options on the market that this do. This is one of them. It's literally identical. The buttons on top are identical. The functionality of the unit is identical. The only thing you're losing from this unit, or from this unit to this unit is 640 to 384, and you all pretty much can cut the price in half. Yeah, and the thing that I do wanna clarify is although I have run the RH25 in a forward clip-on setup, that does work, but I would, and correct me if, if you disagree, or give your input if you disagree, Ethan, I would say that that is a very close range to maybe medium range engagement. I, I'd say probably 200 yards and in. You're not shooting squirrels at 200 yards. No, now if, if you mounted this as a dedicated thermal, you'd be able to dial in that reticle in a way that's you know, yes. much more accurate. I think that the functionality of a clip-on is nice in theory, and I think it has an application. I think if it we're does. going after human-sized targets, if we're going after, you know, you've already got a daytime rifle and you just want to be able to have the capability of using your LPVO with the RH-25, I think that's a solid move. The biggest thing to highlight that, that you do need to always keep in mind with these units when you are forward mounting them is you do have to collimate the unit to the scope. So basically what that means is you turn on the reticle in the unit with it mounted in front of your, your daytime optic. You line up this reticle with your existing reticle and then you can turn this reticle back off. And what that is doing is essentially collimating that unit to this gun and making it accurate. So because of that, I mean, you know, I think of that right away. When I zeroed this particular optic, it naturally showed me that there could be some human error in that entire process. Definitely because lining could be. up You always that, want to verify. Yeah. Line, always. Lining up that <sighs> reticle perfectly to my scope's reticle was nearly impossible. 
and again with verifying rounds that, on target and then verify rounds on target and if you have to make another minor adjustment you can yep so it is very capable but i don't think that people that are maybe this is out of the budget for them i don't think that they necessarily lose out by going with the rl 25. no i don't know that that necessarily would be a deal breaker but maybe for you it is and if it is a deal breaker and you absolutely feel like you need to be able to forward mount your unit then i would say probably saving up for the rh 25 makes a lot of sense but overall you're saying even though that is a 384 core you are pleased with the performance of that particular unit it's been working well if you're if you are very strongly if you feel very strongly about the need to record this unit obviously will still record internally just like the rh25 so that's a huge plus to this unit over top of like the ML19, for example, which is a 384 core version of the MH25. Um, it does, it, it gives you the ability. It, it gives you the ability to record. It gives you the ability to see and use all the functions. It's virtually identical except for that fact of the core resolution. And because of that, I think it's an obvious addition to our website and it was something that it was a no brainer to us knowing that we've seen so many different comments on our YouTube channel talking about, hey, I would love to see a more budget-friendly device. And the last thing I'm gonna say is, thermal does come at a price, but the technology is increasing rapidly. Oh my goodness. And as we've seen, you know, a good example is you kind of raving about iRay's 384 cores compared to some of the 384s we ran from other brands oh, yeah. years the, ago. The digital, the image processing technology that the iRay has in their units is hands down better than a lot of other of companies out there it's to to see the resolution you can see with the 384 course from ira is actually pretty impressive when you put them up against other units yep and so guys hopefully that was helpful to you i think the rl25 is something that you shouldn't sleep on if it's in your price range and it's something that you think is a good fit for you it's a solid option that you can add to your arsenal and like ethan said whether you want to hand hold it you want to helmet mount it you want to run it on your gun as a dedicated thermal. It does give you a lot of different options. It's a lot of bang for your buck. And currently at the time of this video, it does come in a little bit less than the MH25. So because of that, if you're kind of priced out of the range with the MH25, and you kind of are thinking that the RL25 would be the better option for you, IRA is doing a really good job of rounding out the bases in the budget category and the high-end category. So you're ultimately able to choose between all of these different units, pick the one that's best for you because your needs might be very different than what we have. So ultimately, hopefully this video was a little bit helpful to you. And I would always encourage you to get in the comment section. If you have questions, that's a great place to drop them. Or you can email this dude directly, cs at arcane.com. We will put all of that information down in the description. Do you have anything else to add before we close this out? I don't believe that was pretty thorough. Catch you guys in the next one. RA25 here, RL25 there. Something looking around here, going around looking for a bear. If you don't see him in the woods, because you can't even see clear. This thermal is baller. That one's sort of near. <laughs> Nailed it.